Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'd like to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territory of the Squamish, Musqueam, and Swallow Tooth people, and I give gratitude to be able to live, work, and play on these beautiful lands. Today I wanted to come out uh, early because the water is nice and calm. The last time I was out, it was a little bit choppy, it makes it really difficult as a beginner to be able to establish balance and pump foil. So, water is relatively calm. And uh, same setup as before. I'm gonna try to make a little alteration to my uh, technique, which is going to be, my front foot is gonna be a little bit more toe side. And um, uh, my pumps are gonna be a little bit more explosive. And uh, I was watching some footage of myself and some footage of other people pump foiling and recognized that I wasn't quite getting enough of that explosiveness uh, to generate enough lift and the key component also is if I adjust my lead foot a little bit more toe side I'm hoping to on my squat and on my push I'm gonna think about putting more of my weight towards my front toes and because it's slightly open and more toe side I'm hoping that it's going to uh, drive my weight more to the front so I don't um, stall out. Okay, without further ado, uh, let's let's try to get this this pump down and consistent because we're we're still stuck on seven to twelve to pumps and I think we're really close. It's just that missing piece of of um, basically getting my weight forward and I've been stuck at this point for quite a little while but I'm hoping to turn the corner as always my helmet it's a beautiful sunny morning temperatures are about five degrees Celsius which is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit And uh, very little wind, which is great because the water is nice and calm. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this will be the Eureka moment for me. All right, let's do this. As long as it happens, I have to keep my focus, make sure that I get that uh, good launch and good landing before I really start trying to pump. I'm just, I'm already thinking about the pump in my foot and all, where to place it and all that stuff. And uh, if you do this, at least at my point in my progression, it's gonna cause me to crash, so. All right, so let's get that good launch, good landing before I start pumping.
Yeah, uh, it wasn't that wasn't so graceful. I uh problem I have is I can't get my foil completely under the uh the dock. And the dock is kind of high, so I'm holding the board pretty far out. And uh it's tricky generating speed when you're holding the ball board so far out and, and jumping. At some point I'm going to adjust and, and learn a different technique for scenarios where you are higher up on a dock. But uh, <laughs> let's let's establish this first. All right, let's give it another go. Wow, I'm really struggling with with my uh, my launch today. All right, that was better. I think I just needed to get some reps in as a warm up. But uh, didn't quite get the, the launch that I wanted. Never really got my balance before I started pumping, but was still able to get some pumps in. Tried to adjust my feet and uh, Kind of practice the the pumping technique of really exploding but i think uh, because of my poor launch i wasn't able to recover let's try to get a really good launch Thank you. 
I got it. I really felt like the launch was there. Landing, I was pumping. I felt like I could keep going. I just lost my balance on that last pump. But there it is. I think just moving my foot, my lead foot, opening it up. So it used to be square, but opening it up and having it focusing on my weight going toward my lead foot toes. So what that is doing is it's getting my weight forward so I can continue pumping instead of stalling. It's a minor change, but right there it seemed to be working. Let's see if I can do that again. So if I were to show you on my board, I want my foot, it used to be here, and I think I want my foot closer to the middle and my and my toes pointing slightly open and I'm really focusing on driving my weight towards my toes and that gets my weight going forward and my back foot is the heel is right around here which means it's close to the front of the mast There it is. I think I got it. I feel like I have it. Again, once I get going, for some reason, I'm uh, losing my balance. But uh, I think we have it. It's just uh, continuing that pump. And uh, I, again, when I jumped on the board, my foot was a little bit too far heel side, my lead foot, and I adjusted it. And immediately, I could start pumping. So these micro adjustments that you're doing, I mean, everybody's different, depending on your body type and your technique at that moment in time. But for me right now, that was a critical component of moving my, my front foot more toe side and opening it up. And also I felt my back foot automatically move slightly up towards the uh, front of the, the board. So I landed here. I think I landed here, but then 
I felt my back foot wanting to move further up the board. And I guess it's just through repetition and, and, uh, and practice that my body is, is now beginning to feel the balance point of, of the foil and, and the board and, and really intuitively moving uh, in order for me to uh, continue pumping. Uh, so these are all good things. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try this again, and I'm gonna try not to fall backwards this time. Oh, I got ahead of myself again. Didn't land the lodge. It's really hard. And I'll, I'll, I know I've said this many times before, but when you're learning how to dock star, find a dock that's really close to the water, surface of the water. That also allows you to put your foil under the dock. So you're not holding the board way out here. You're able to hold it right here just makes it so much easier when you don't have to worry so much about the launch. Okay, I felt good launch. I was getting some really good pumps. I felt my board getting too close to the surface of the water. And I was trying to drive the board, but just wasn't able to recover. But I think I got like 13 pumps in or something. So we're making really good progress today. Yeah.
I haven't thought about turning yet. I'm just trying to get as many pumps as I can, but I mean, the further, I, I'm just going straight, which makes coming back a little bit trickier, but that's okay. Uh, once I get out to about 15 pumps, then I'll start working on my turns. I was off balance from the start, so I wasn't able to get going. So for you golfers out there, when I think about foiling, or pumping at least, it reminds me a lot about golfing. It's just the margins are slim and, you know, I think the front foot wing it's a lot like your your club selection and uh, but it's opposite so the bigger the wing it's probably the more loft you have on your club the smaller the wing you're getting to closer to your lower irons and just the fact that you have to get reps in yeah, you're not going to just show up and start hitting 300 yard drives or anything like that it's so much of it is technique so much of it is is um, is your equipment in relation to your technique, uh, your body type, and also just practice. You gotta you gotta practice, and you have to uh, work on it. I also really recommend anyone who's learning how to pump or wants to learn, record yourself, look at the footage, and see what's what where your feet are, how your body's moving, moving when you're failing or when you're when you're succeeding and really try to build on that because when you're on your board it's very difficult to assess what's happening because your brain is just it's just uh, trying to survive it's in survival mode so after you're done your session you can look at the footage and uh, see what worked and build on that okay so let's do this again let's but, I mean, what a beautiful day to be out on the water. It still blows my mind that I'm the only person out here. I mean, it, yeah, it is a little bit chilly, <laughs> but once you put this wetsuit on, uh, you really don't feel it. And think about it, there are people out on the mountains, in the local mountains here. If I drove uh, 20 minutes, I can be on top of a mountain from where I am right now and be skiing. So the uh it um it blows my mind uh why more people are out not out on the water with me but i have a feeling this sport is really going to begin to take off once people uh see it and learn about it for the first time and there are more videos about how people can progress and learn because the learning curve is quite steep and it really does help if you have guidance Okay, let's do this again.
Oh. So back to the golfing analogy. For those of you who play golf, you're gonna know one day you're striping it, you're playing really well. You go out the next day and you're, you can't hit the ball. It's uh, so, I find a lot with foiling as well. One day it's clicking, and then the other day it's just, for some reason, maybe it's the way you slept, the way your body is that day. It's your, you're just unable to get into that sink. But um, we, it just requires repetition. And I guess the better you get, the, uh, the smaller the, the margins are in terms of fluctuating between a good day and bad day. Uh oh, so you can see now we're getting a little bit more uh, the current coming in. Uh, let's hope that we can get some good repetitions in before it gets really choppy. Oh, difficult launch. So if you don't get your launch, it's hard to get your foot placement. If the water's not glass, any, any little movement in the, in the current or in the water surface will cause your board to tilt. And it just makes it a little bit more difficult to get your landing. Uh, and uh, once you get your landing, then you got to find your footing. So I'm really trying to get my foot, my front foot. Right around here. Uh, I'm struggling mentally to move my, move my foot further up the board. It just, for some reason, my brain just doesn't want to go there. <laughs> It's like I'm standing on the edge of a precipice, but uh, I just have to convince myself. Okay, once I get start going, I want to move that front foot even further up. Uh, initially, I'm landing about here because I found that if I have my front foot too far up on the, the launch, then I'll do a nose dive. So what I'm finding is I'm landing here and then I'm quickly moving my front foot further up the board. That's what I'm, I think what's happening. It's hard to say because your brain, my brain is just kind of working at 100 miles an hour. Okay, let's try this again.
Okay, that time my foot was in the right position, but now I'm not pumping hard enough. So I'm thinking too much about the front foot. And what I have to go back to thinking is, I really have to get down and drive. You're gonna see a lot of the, the, the good efficient pumpers really drive their legs to the point where their back heel is coming off the board and you're they're coming down and springing up and I have to stop worrying so much about the foot positioning and focus more a little bit on that springing motion Okay, <laughs> you guys are gonna hate me for this, but another golf analogy is I'm trying to put more power into it. So what happens when you try to swing too hard in any sport, tennis, golf, any to kick the ball in soccer, it, you end up shanking it. So it's about efficiently generating power without getting too tense. So now I wanna get to the point where my technique is still fundamentally sound where I'm coming down in balance and I'm pumping forward with a pretty precise explosion of power but it's still relaxed with a really great technique behind it. So uh, that time I was just trying to explode and I think my technique was flawed there so it's really about Focusing on that relaxed power with the fundamentals still behind the, the explosion of, of my legs. So let's try that again. Oh yeah, so I can, I can feel it when I'm, when I'm pumping and really driving up, I can really feel that foil moving. Now it's just a matter of combining everything else in terms of that finesse 
and just having that same amount of power but finessing everything else to go with it. So that time I bent my torso, leaned over a little bit more so I didn't fall backwards. And I was just still trying to focus on driving the legs. And it seemed to work. And what I found out for the first time is, and I know this is not a lot of pumps, I'm only doing, I think I only did 12, 13 pumps there, but my legs started to burn. Oh, to think that some of these guys are pumping for 30, 45 minutes and I did 12 pumps and my leg was burning. It wasn't burning, but I could start feeling um, a little tinge of that sensation where you're, where you're really working your muscle. If my technique gets better, I'm sure I could do more, but... It was, uh, that was a good round. All right, let's do it again. And, man, look at this beautiful backdrop. Such an incredible day and to be able to experience this on a day like today is, uh, it's magical.
Not bad. So I think it's safe to say that I've took a couple steps forward in my progression, but I'm still unable to uh, find my body positioning where I'm efficiently compressing my body and then pumping. I'm, I'm having a tricky time finding uh, that balance point of how my my uh, my core and my body mass efficiently compresses in a balanced position and then explodes generating a lot of power into the foil and also moving forward to get my weight forward so it's it's just a little adjustment I'm, I'm trying to figure out where this area of my body has to be in the compression and explosion. Because um, if you're too far back, then you'll end up uh, stalling. And if you're too far forward, you end up nose diving. So it's finding that perfect balance point. Um, and it makes it difficult because of such a, so many other movements happening with your arms swinging and also the further down you go, uh, the trickier it is to go down, straight down without deviating from your technique. Because if you want to, I think for me, when I want to go further down, what ends up happening is my butt ends up coming out more like this. And then the weight distribution gets thrown off. I don't really want to do that. I feel like it's most efficient when I'm really just dropping straight down and pumping uh, hard, but with my core and weight moving slightly forward and toe side. That's what I'm feeling uh, at this moment in time. stick there it's just out of my reach feels like my pumping it's just out of reach we'll get there I got those sticks. Symbolically, maybe that's my turning point. I got the sticks. Now I'm gonna get those pumps. So it felt good, like, well, I think it was the sixth pump and I, I felt like, oh, here we go. I, I'm gonna go forever. And then all of a sudden, boom, stall. So, I have to recognize the stalling speed of my wing 
and I have to recognize once I go a certain speed, I either have to do two things. I have to speed up my the cadence of my pumps, or I have to be a little bit more explosive with my pumps. All the while, still thinking about driving my weight forward. It's such a huge component. Lots to think about, but man, we are having a great day. I don't know if you counted. I, I'm counting in my head. I don't know why. 17 pumps I counted. Woo! <sighs> and that time, I really started feeling my legs. Man, 17 pumps. And my legs are starting to burn. Now, I know it's not good to compare yourself with these kids that are doing 45 minutes of pumping, but I can't help myself from comparing myself and thinking, man, I gotta up my game. I also think it has a little bit of something to do with that front wing. It is a Armstrong HS1850, which um, with the camber, it's not really designed for that serious pump and glide, that high aspect wings have so even the wingspan some of the the pumping wings that these kids are using are almost a meter and a half which is yes i mean that's like 150 centimeters it's it's uh really really um gonna make a difference in your pump and glide and also they have less camber they're they got a much thinner profile so they just glide they're harder to turn, but I think that has something to do with it as well. And the fact that I probably need a lot of work on my technique. Seventeen pumps! Can we go twenty? Well, we're gonna try.
Well, I think I got cocky there. I was after my sixth pump. I felt like, oh my gosh, I got it. And I tried to just breathe and settle into the pumps. And then my speed started dwindling and I crashed at nine pumps. So again, it's just finding that sweet spot. I did feel myself incre increasing the cadence. And uh, when I crashed, I noticed that my front foot right here. So I'm gonna try to move it further up and further toe side. Easier said than done when you're pumping and your brain is thinking of a million things. But I think it's gonna be hugely important to slightly inch my way further up the board. Um, I think that's, the, that's one of the key components for me at this state in my progression is to, once I get a few pumps going, four or five pumps, slightly moving my foot further up the board and maybe even my back foot as well. stick was bothering me. That's the reason why. <laughs> okay. When I crashed, I looked down at my feet, my front foot at least. And I saw that it was like this. So I really want to be here. my breath. <clears throat> we are close to an hour. Uh, it's been a really good day.
So that time I tried to land with my front foot further up the board and I'm crashing. So I think it comes down to, fortunately, I have to land with my feet in a certain position. And as I start pumping, I have to make micro adjustments with my foot positioning. That just seems like what I'm gonna have to do at this point. So basically, I'm landing with my front foot. I'm not really thinking too much about my back foot, but I think it's landing around here. And my front foot is landing around here. And then as I begin pumping, I think I have to make a micro adjustment and move slide this foot up and this foot, the front foot up as well. That's what it's uh, feeling like. All right, Whew. we hit that hour mark. Almost running out of battery here. I'm gonna give it one more go and then we'll call it a day. Just wanna get a little bit more of a breather to make sure that I give it everything that I've got.
Oh, that was not bad for the finale. But, I mean, I really have to take it all in, the fact that I got 17 pumps today. That was awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching my progression and get out on the water and explore and learn and have fun. Till next time, we'll see ya.